An art school that has nearly 60 years of history has been given three days to clear out. The Pioneer Craft House received the eviction notice from the city of South Salt Lake. News specialist Dan Rascone is live with reaction. And Dan, this is actually a battle that has been going on for some years now. Yeah, you could say there's some bad blood here between the art school and the city of South Salt Lake. has been brewing now for more than 10 years. Both sides say they've been trying to work with each other, trying to work out the details here. But the city now is saying there's no lease with the art school and they have not been paying rent, so it's time to get out. It's making a flute. Several days a week, Jorgen Olsen can be found here at the Pioneer Craft House in South Salt Lake, a nonprofit art school that has nearly 60 years of history. They teach so many crafts here. But this place is getting shut down. The city has given them just three days to get out. Terrible, terrible. There's no way to be out of here in three days. Fred Ochoa is one of the artists who teaches here. I'm blown away. I'm just, I don't know how we'll do it. And so is Jan Harris Smith. No, no way to move all this equipment. We have a lot of heavy equipment, a lot of specialized equipment. But there is another side to what appears to be a sad tale of eviction. This contentious battle that included Pioneer Craft House suing the city has been going on now for more than 10 years. The city of South Salt Lake says the art school has paid only about a year's worth of rent in all those years. They didn't want to pay rent. But we don't give away space to just anybody. That's not fair to taxpayers. The city also says they have a much different vision of what can be done here. Wanting to put affordable, accessible, quality after school programs for our diverse population. And we never felt like Pioneer Craft House was, was doing that. Nobody wants to look like the bad guy and telling an arts group they have to move out. But if they're not providing arts programs to your community and your community's paying for it, it doesn't seem fair. So we're very happy to have this problem solved at last. The art school says it plans to fight this. They've hired an attorney. They're supposed to be out at midnight on Thursday.